Good day! Let me present to you the strategic roadmap for career skills development in basic education. How do we help our learners develop the skills needed in their future career? This presentation was presented during the 2022 Regional Career Advocacy Congress held in Legazpi City. The Enhanced Basic Education Curriculum of DepEd or the K-12 program responds to national and global community needs and demands through its mission to strengthen the value of every Filipino who are equipped with the 21st century skills, the effective communication skills, information, media, and technology skills, and the learning and innovation skills. And the last but not the least, is the life and career skills. These 12 years of basic education provide sufficient time to prepare students before entering college, equipping them with the global skills, competencies, and knowledge needed to achieve a successful career path in the future. These four curriculum exits Trabajo, Negocio, Colegio, and Middle Life Skills emphasize the great benefits to the learner's future careers. The Rule 5 of the Implementing Rules and Regulations of the Basic Education Act of 2013 states that the Department of Education or DepEd is mandated to properly guide secondary level students in choosing career tracks that they intend to pursue through informed career choices towards becoming productive and contributing individuals. This aspiration is strengthened as the Basic Education Development Plan or BEDP 2030 was launched last June 3, 2022. This is the first long-term strategic plan and roadmap for basic education. The plan aims to continue the goals of DepEd in the promotion of the right to education and is also designed to address the immediate impacts of the pandemic on learning, participation, and education delivery, address the remaining access gaps, improve education quality, and build resilience. Filipino learners are envisioned to be holistically developed in basic education, acquiring 21st century skills that includes life and career skills. This will enable learners to manage oneself, build connections, inquire, innovate, stay nimble, and serve beyond self, and they must be responsive, competitive, and live in a sustainable world by upholding and living up the four core values, makajos, makatao, makakalikasan, at makabansa. In this challenging time of global pandemic, the need for intensive career guidance is highlighted. The COVID-19 pandemic raised major challenges in basic education, not only for the delivery of lessons, but also for the delivery of career guidance services. Indeed, the demand for career guidance services increased due to dramatic developments to the labor market. This also led to significant changes in the use and delivery of career guidance services. What are the key challenges of career guidance? The first challenge is move from helping students decide on job or course to the broader development of life career management skills. The second challenge is to make career guidance more widely available starting from elementary throughout adulthood. Career and life skills development in DepEd. What has been done and where are we heading to? The answer only seems to be simple yet hard to attain. Teach them life and career skills. This is where the basic education comes in. In terms of life and career skills development in DepEd, what has been done and where we are heading to. Let me present to you the biggest milestone in DepEd as far as career guidance is concerned. 
In 2019, our former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte signed the Republic Act 11206 or the Secondary School Career Guidance and Counseling Act. And this is valid for public and private high schools across the country. The act is aimed at helping students make wiser and more accurate decisions regarding their future careers. RA11206 has the following objectives. To institutionalize a career guidance and counseling program for students in all public and private secondary schools nationwide in order to provide them proper direction in pursuing subsequent tertiary education. To equip secondary education students with the capability to make educated career decisions and expose them to relevant labor markets and to ensure graduates of tertiary education meet the requirements of the government, industry, and the economy. There are four important points that the law highlights. The creation of National Career Guidance and Counseling Program, establishment of Career Guidance and Counseling Centers, the National Career Assessment Examination, and the appropriation of budget. DepEd shall, in coordination with the Professional Regulation Commission, or PRC, accredited professional organizations on guidance and counseling, Commission on Higher Education, or CHED, Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, or TESDA, Department of Labor and Employment, DOLE, Department of Trade and Industry, or DTI, National Economic and Development Authority, or NEDA, and the Parent Teachers Associations, or PTAs, shall formulate, develop, and review a Career Guidance and Counseling Instructional Module, or CGCIM, which shall serve as the basic instructional material to guide secondary students in their pursuit of meaningful and rewarding tertiary education based on their capacity and skills, the accessibility of public tertiary education institutions, the labor market, and the requirements and expectations of the government, industry, and economy. For the establishment of career guidance and counseling centers, there shall be established CGCP Center in all secondary schools to be headed by the school administrator who shall be assisted by a trained career and employment guidance counselor. DepEd through the National Education Testing and Research Center shall conduct an annual National Career Assessment Examination or NCAE among students in the appropriate grade level in all public and secondary private schools nationwide as a tool to assess and evaluate the aptitude, skill, or inclination of the student in a particular occupational field and to serve as guide for the students in choosing their respective courses or career options. And lastly, the appropriation of budget. 